good morning out here on the homestead. It's a partly cloudy day, but it's warming up a bit. That's good. We are running out of water in the coach again, and our toad is dry because we were expecting that our, our city water would be ready to go by now. And it's here, and uh, I just need to dig down and find the main stem pipe and um, put in a stanchion so that we can get some water for ourselves. It's either that or I got to go bum another uh, quarter tank of water off my neighbor. But I think I'll just start digging. We'll see how far down it is, what size pipe it is. That'll let me know what fittings I need. So let's get this done. Thanks for watching. All right, well, I found the stub. It ain't but about eight, 10 inches below grade level. It's kind of shallow, but I found it. I'll take you in for a closer look. That there is the water meter. There's the stub pipe. You can see the, the fitting right there that we hook up to. All right, I'm going to go get a crescent wrench, open, crack that valve open, see if there's water there. Or see if I'm going to have to call the, the county to come out and turn the water on. That'll tell us everything we need to know for the rest of the day. Okay, we got water. Evidenced by the speckles on my glasses. And then you saw me turn it on, so... Now I just need to figure out what pipes I need to get, what fittings I need, and uh, at least get a single, a single line in so we can use it. But I got to do some figuring. Well, here I go switching jobs in the middle of jobs again. <laughs> I can't seem to stay focused. Anyway, um, realizing what time it is, I'm not going to be able to get into town and get the plumbing parts that I need to do the uh, fresh water. So my neighbor is going to give us. Um, about a quarter full tote of water. We take that water and we pump it into our tote and then pump it into our RV. Sounds like a lot of pumping, but our tote is the main storage for that. Um, so I'm gonna move, I move the tote where it is right now and uh, decided that I need to move it over a little bit. It'll be a better spot for it. Okay, that takes care of the moving. Uh, neighbor will call me, I'll go over there and pick up his trailer and the tote, bring it over here, and we'll continue on with that for now. Okay, normally when I go get the water, I use his trailer and his tote. Um, he's got a bunch of company over there today and his stuff, you can't even get to it. So I'm gonna hook my little trailer up, load the tote up on it, 
and uh, just do it that way. It saves a step anyway. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back with the water tote. I uh, got enough water in it to fill up the RV, so let's do that. Right, so one of the things I'm gonna do is add about a quarter cup of bleach to that 100 gallons or so of water, just to uh, make sure it's sanitized. Now we don't drink this water, but we use it to shower, wash with, do dishes, that kind of stuff. But it helps sanitize the water in the tank, plus the water in the RV tank. The last time we used this pump, Lee said it was going to be the last time we used it because it was leaking. Well, lo and behold, one more time. So it is leaking. It's pouring out pretty good, but it's a little hole, so it's not like an extravaganza of water we will be losing. So this last time, fingers crossed, Lee's going to get the supplies for the plumbing, and we'll get a faucet out there. If we rent a trencher, we can trench it all the way down and get it closer to the RV. We'll have to see what happens.
it's almost empty. I'm going to stick a block of wood under that back section to tilt it up and get uh, more water up toward the front. Tank's not full in the RV yet. Kind of surprised. Not really. Well, that got in too fast. It did. Okay, well, there's not a more unmistakable sound than when that goes empty, huh? Anyway, I'll button it all up. We got water on the coach. We should be good. That about does it out here on the homestead. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. God bless you for spending your precious time to see what we're doing. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. Bye-bye now.